In this video, I'll show you two different ways to change the placeholder text on your checkout page for free. Let's get straight into it. For example, I'll show you how to change the place order button using code like this, or you can achieve a similar result using a free plugin. And here we actually display an order total as well. So it's just more user friendly. So if you want to go with this particular version and actually improve your checkout conversion rate with this optimized design, then you can just head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. All right, so I'll break this video up into two parts. So the first section will help you to change a checkout button without touching any line of code. If you've got some development experience, then on the second section, I'll show you how to edit it using code. For the first method, we'll be using a free version of the all-in-one checkout plugin. Assuming you've uploaded and installed that particular plugin, we'll just navigate over to AIO checkout here. All right, and we'll create a new checkout flow. So we'll click create new checkout. Okay, and then we'll navigate over to settings. So if you want, you can rearrange and customize the fields. But for this particular video, we'll enable this checkout form. We'll set it as our global checkout. We can give it a name, it's just for internal purposes. And we can go ahead and rename the checkout button here. What's really nice about this um, particular plugin as well is we can also display the price within the checkout button, okay? So it's a nice touch. So for example, here we can use this short code. So for example, we can say complete um, order and then we can show the total amount that they need to pay. So I'm just gonna quickly choose a checkout template. Let's hit save changes and let's head over to our checkout page all right and when we scroll down here we can see it says complete order and then here it's showing customers the total amount that they'll be paying for this particular order and now we'll go ahead and customize the place order button using custom coding so if you're going to use this method i highly recommend that you create a backup of your wordpress website and i'll leave a link in the description below to the particular code that we'll be using all right so let's disable our checkout okay let's double check our checkout page now Okay, so this is our default WooCommerce at checkout design. So now let's go ahead and customize the place order button. So let's head back over to our dashboard. I'm going to be adding the code in our theme functions.php file. If you are going to add it in your theme function, that PHP file, then I recommend adding it in your child theme function at PHP file. So let's navigate over to theme editor here, and then we'll just paste in our code here. All right, so once you paste in your code, here where it says complete purchase, you can customize this text to say whatever you want. So you could say pay now, for example, and then let's update this and let's refresh this page. All right, and here you can see it says pay now. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in a comment box below.